Hi, this is John Marks, the editor of CopsAlive.com, and we are proud to bring you a short training video on flash recognition training for law enforcement officers. If you've never been to Cops Alive before, you need to know that we help law enforcement professionals plan for happy, healthy, and successful lives both on the job and beyond, and we do that with training programs like this one. What is flash recognition training? Well, flash recognition is um, designed to, uh, to train you to sharpen and increase your visual perception. Now, this concept is actually fairly old, but I think a lot of people draw their source material from a 1959 article published in the Journal of Criminal Law and Criminology and Police Science by Roland Sewell entitled Flash Recognition Training in Law Enforcement. To quote the author, flash recognition is accomplished by observing stimuli, words, numbers, pictures, etc., flashed on a projection screen at extremely short intervals of time, uh, i.e. one one hundredth of a second. We're going to do something a little bit longer than that on this, but that's what you'd work your way up to. Uh, in this manner, individual an individual sharpens and enhances their visual perceptors, their eyes, and seeing becomes more effective, more coherent, and more fluent. One training uh, mechanism that a lot of law enforcement and military people have used for years is called Kim's Game, and it's basically part of the flash recognition concept, so we're going to go over that very briefly here. Basically, Kim's Game comes from a book published in 1901 by Rudyard Kipling entitled Kim, which is about a young boy in India who gets trained, uh, and they use this game where he looks at a covered tray of items uh, very quickly and then has to recall all that he saw in the most detail he can remember. And this is actually used by police and military snipers to improve their tactical competence and you can use it to improve your memory and your observation skills. Basically, you take a group of objects, let's say 15 to 20, that's the way we train it, put them on a table or in a tray, cover them with a handkerchief, and then you expose them for 30 seconds to a minute, let somebody memorize them, cover them again, and see how many things they can write down. If you want to do the advanced version of this, you not only remember how many items and what they were, but you describe each of them in detail, and this obviously is used uh, to train in pairs. So let's do a quick example. We'll give you a short look at what's under this handkerchief. I'll give you yeah, 30 seconds or so just to sort of memorize everything that's under there. You can look at everything. Yeah, it seems like maybe that's been long enough. You can time this out later, but I'm going to cover it again. Okay, make a quick list. I'll give you a little bit of time again. Make a quick list. Decide how many items were there. Maybe you might want to count how many you remember first, then list them, and then if you remember any specific details, then maybe you would write the details down next to the item, uh, specifically what color it was, how old it was, how big it was, any writing on it, what did the writing say, anything that was unique that was not um, significant for that item. Okay, then we'll give you a chance to look at them again. You can grade yourself. Again, this is a training video, so we're not going to do too long. You can come back to this section again. But here, take a look. We've got a package of Sweet and Low, a clothespin, a dice, a, a card game dice, uh, some playing, a playing card, the six of diamonds to be specific, a Band-Aid, plastic spoon, peppermint in a wrapper, a rock, a Q-tip, a jack, a penny, which is a little hard to see there, a Rayovac battery size AA, a key, a uh, in, uninflated yellow balloon, an orange crayon, a green rubber band, a pink pencil, a um, paper clip, and a red uh, poker chip. How'd you do? Now, how about trying something like this? So you can make this game as complex or as simple as you like, but the idea is to train you to recognize items quickly. And, and the way we would do that is I would go off of that. We're going to do license plates next, but I would give you a quick look at that and take it away. And that's flash recognition. But how is this useful for you? Well, particularly when you're looking at people or license plates, this can be really helpful. So let's uh, practice just a little bit. We're going to glance at a license plate for about two seconds or less. Then I'm going to take it away from you, and then I'll show it to you again, and you can see if you remember the colors, the state 
or where it's from and the number. Let's uh, try it out. Test yourself and you can create this. I did this in uh, Macintosh's Keynote or you can do it in PowerPoint from Microsoft. Uh, you can do it yourself. You can do it with your friends. Test yourself. Okay, what was it? What was the state? What were the colors? What was the license plate number? There it is again. Pretty easy one. How about another one? Are you ready? How'd you do on that one? I did that one a little faster. Colors, any particular uh, graphics on that license plate that you remember? Uh, what state was it from? What was the license plate number? There you go. Check it out. And remember, you can always play this again and test yourself a little bit more thoroughly. Let's do another one. Are you ready? How'd you do? What were the numbers? Where was it from? There you go. Who were those people in the picture? What year was it from? All kinds of things you could remember. Uh, let's try another one. That one didn't have any um, endorsement tags on it, so that one was pretty straightforward. Write your, write your notes. There you go. Connecticut 322 PKR, Paul King Robert, the Constitution State. One more. Last one, a little more complex. Where was it from? What were the colors? Any graphics on the plate? When was the uh, endorsement sticker? What were the numbers? I understand that this is difficult, but the idea here is that you test yourself over and over again. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. There you go. April of 2003 from DeKalb, Georgia. 222, excuse me, 2260 Adam Henry John. How about using this for people? Does this work for people? How good are you at um, being able to recognize someone uh, that you see on the street? And then could you describe them? Could you describe them for a police artist? What do you remember about that man? Was it a man? What did you notice? What was he wearing? How old was he? What uh, was specific about him? Was he wearing glasses? Any facial hair? What color was his hair? How tall was he? Probably can't tell from that picture. I'll give you another look. Very interesting face. Let's try again. Prepare yourself. Okay, what did you see? What did you see in the background? Anything interesting about this person? I'll give you another look. Did you get the jewelry? Did you get the, uh, the item that she's wearing in her hair? The earrings, the dress. You want to try again? How old was this person? Where are they from? What's the, what's the color of their hair? Any facial hair? What are they wearing? Give you another look. Oh, sorry. Just gave you a flash of an image, <laughs> so I'll cheat and ask you what did you see in that flash? <laughs> that was completely unintentional, but I think I'll leave it in the video. What did you see? Describe the woman holding the other person. How old is she? How tall is she? What's she wearing? What does it say on her t-shirt? What does it say on the other t-shirt? Where are they? How old's the other person? What color are their hairs? There you go. Great picture. I think I have another one in here for that. So you can try again for a couple of seconds to add anything that you didn't have before. There you go. Okay, let's go on. Make it a little bit more complex this time. We'll give you an entire scene like I sort of did on that one. Describe this scene. How many people? Where is it? Describe the person at the center of the photograph. 
How old is that person, male or female? What are they wearing? How tall are they? Take a couple of minutes. Well, not for this purpose. Take a couple of seconds. Are you ready? I can't tell. Is he wearing glasses? Did you see the people in the background? Where do you suppose this is? Interesting letter and uh, speed markings. Let's try another one, even more complex. How many people in that picture? Where is it? Describe the man on the bike. How old is he? What's he wearing? Did you see a man on the bike? How about the central figure? How about the person coming toward the photograph? The photographer. Okay. There you go. Anyway, this is something you can practice at home. You can practice this every day by observing people on the street, observing license plates, looking for just a couple of seconds, then looking away, making some quick notes, look again, don't get arrested for harassment. But this is something you need to practice. If you're a warrior, if you are a professional in policing, if you are in law enforcement in any way, you need to hone your observation skills. This is one way to do it. Try Kim's game. Practice with somebody else. It is a way you can practice for just a few minutes every day to improve your skills. Before I end, I'd like to thank some people who contributed these photographs uh, as Creative Commons on Flickr.com. I want to thank David Dennis Photos, Toby Otter, Graham Crum, Face Me PLS, Mikey Loves Women, You Air Zero One, and Justin. Thank you very much for your photos. They've been very helpful. And thank you. And if you've not been to CopsAlive.com, please come and visit us. Check out what we're doing. We really could use some help in our police wellness project where we're asking you to contribute your suggestions on how we can train better, how we can protect ourselves, basically how we can survive a career in this very toxic uh, uh, job. And also, if you're willing to commit videos, we'd love to see you on youtube.com forward slash survival tips for cops. I'm going to try to put some videos up there, but I'd really like everybody to contribute their short, maybe 30 second, one minute videos. Doesn't have to be much, but what are your tips for staying alive? Could be officer survival, could be memory skills like this, could be health and wellness, fitness training, anything. We could use your help. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you at CopsAlive.com. Take care. Stay safe.